Hi everybody, it's Steph here and what we've got for you today is, as it says on the box, we've got a very nice Conway Stewart pen for you. Now, what we've got is a Conway Stewart 388, but first of all I thought I'd show you the box. As you can see, it comes in the original box. It has uh, the Conway Stewart pen to the top there and just to the bottom there we've got Conway Stewart London. As you can see, the box is in very nice condition so let's open that up um, there's the pen let's put that to one side and what we've got inside is the well the original instructions so what I thought I'd do if we can get them out is actually show you the instructions as well so let's pop the box to one side and this is what originally you would have actually got in this particular pen let's keep it nice and still for you so you can actually well, you can actually pause it here if you wish and read it, but this is the, the guarantee, and you can see at the bottom it says Conway Stewart and Company Limited, 3644 Copperfield Road, London. So there's your guarantee. To the back of this piece of paper, what you have is the, the filling instructions. And again, I'll keep it nice and still. Um, you can actually pause it if you wish at this point to read it if you wish. But um, as I say, I thought I'd actually show you. That's what you would have actually got originally inside the box when you actually bought this particular pen. As I say, what we have here is an absolutely gorgeous Conway Stewart 388 fountain pen. Now for you people that watch, you, can, you know that I've actually already done one of these. Um, on a blue one so if you wish to go and look at that we've got a blue one that we've reviewed uh, there's more details there I'm going to try and keep this as brief as possible um, the size of this pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel around about 126 millimeters capped around the barrel here around about 10 millimeters in diameter now these particular pens as we've told you before came in numerous different colors the nice thing about this one, it comes in this absolutely gorgeous, what they used to term as mauve. So the colour of this pen is mauve. It comes with gold fill trim. Um, it's a lever fill as we showed you before. There you, you can see the lever there. If we show you the cap, you can see it's got the three cap bands. Um, one slightly wider in the middle. And then if we take you to the top of the pen there, you can see it's got the very recognisable Conway Stewart clip with the uh, Conway Stewart diamond to the top. And to the very top of the pen, we've got this peaked um, cap stud to the top there. And just to sort of complement that, the end of the barrel you can see is this black colour. Now, let's show you the imprint, which is nice and clear but because of the colour what I've actually done I've actually highlighted it for you um, it says Conway Stewart 388 and then underneath there you've got the Made in England so the fact that the 388 sorry the 388 and the Conway Stewart are on the same line indicates to us that this is the later version again if you need more details go and have a look at the other one um, but what I'm trying to do is keep keep this quite quite short let's show you the pen here show you different angles we've fully restored this pen um, it's in absolutely superb condition and a beautiful beautiful color to the top of the barrel we've got the very recognizable Conway Stewart feed with a slight ridge to the very top there and if we show you the the nib there Let's keep it nice and still. We've got a Conway Stewart 14 karat gold nib. Um, what you can't see because it's actually inside the um, inside the section. At the bottom it has 5N. Let's give you a sideways view. There you go. And let's show you the, the Conway Stewart feed to the back there. As you can see, all been fully cleaned in absolutely beautiful, beautiful condition. Incidentally, when I put a sack in this particular one, it actually still had the original Conway Stewart sack, although it was hard and brittle. But we've now put a new one in, so, well, 
a good time as any to test it. It's a lever fill, we don't need to tell you. We dip the nib into the ink, pull on the lever numerous times, but what we'll do, we'll just simply do it once for now, if I can get me nail in. There we go. Lots of bubbling, which tells us that everything is is fine. Let's just give it a wipe. Let's bring on our trusted little pad here. First time it's been written since I've uh, restored it, so let's keep our fingers crossed. So, what we have is a Conway Stewart. As we said, this particular one is a 388. We date this pen from the 1950s. And, well, I'd say the nib is actually writing fine to medium with a very slight amount of flex to the nib. Not a lot. But just that slight little bit, i.e. that we can, a little bit of pressure, you can see on the downward stroke we get a quite, a, a, well, a thicker line than we do on the cross stroke. So, just a slight bit of flexibility within the nib. But all in all, a lovely, lovely writer. So, there we have it. That's the Conway Stewart 388 in this absolutely gorgeous mauve, mauve marbling colour in beautiful condition fully restored and ready well ready to find a new owner so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as always as much as I enjoy showing them to you don't forget loads and loads and loads of videos go and have a look don't be shy leave a comment but for now, I'll just say bye-bye now.